Good morning, my lovely things. Welcome back to the channel. The newcomers, welcome to the Cabin of Secrets. I'm Kasara. Usually I wait until Friday to talk about movies, but I noticed something while watching The Imitation for the second time. I actually didn't know I already watched it, to be honest. I forgot what this movie was about. There will be spoilers, so if you haven't seen either of these, you can stream them. I'll let you know where in the description box below. The Invitation, just as a refresher, is about a man named Will who receives an invitation from his ex-wife, Eden, to attend a dinner party she is hosting with her new husband, David. Will brings his girlfriend, Kira, with him to the event, where he finds a lot of his old friends from college are there as well. Eden introduces her new friend, Sadie, to the group and how they met in Mexico during a retreat David and Eden had attended over the past two years. Later, a man named Pruitt shows up. Once everyone is accounted for, apart from Gina's boyfriend, Choi, who is running late, Eden and David show a video depicting the group they joined in Mexico to help people work through their grief. And in the video, a woman is dying or on her deathbed, which makes everybody uncomfortable in the group. The night progresses and Will becomes more and more suspicious, especially since the doors leading outside are locked and all the windows are barred. And David just says, well, there was a home invasion a couple months ago or a month ago to justify his actions. The climax of the film shows Will freaking out about the drinks that were poured for everyone. He claims that they are poison and smashes them, but unfortunately Gina already drank some. She dies and everyone panics, well, except the hosts. David shoots one of the members and everyone scatters trying to get away. In the end, Will, Kira, and Tommy are the remaining survivors and make it outside after killing the rest of their captors. However, upon entering the backyard, Will looks at the red lantern hanging in front of them, which you saw earlier in the movie. And sirens, helicopters, and gunshots, along with screams, are heard in the distance. So utter chaos is just breaking out. All along the hills are jaws of red, indicating other cult members have begun their, begun their mass suicides and trying to bring their loved ones with them to the afterlife. You might be wondering how this has to do with one BR or one bedroom. Well, in the end of that film, the street Sarah escapes down shows an apartment complex with the same symbol as the one she just escaped from, and red lights start blinking down the entire street. Both movies are about cults and use the red light to indicate it's not just an isolated incident. I thought it was interesting that both films use the same symbol, red light, and it had me wonder if the two are connected in any way, shape, or form. Now, to be fair, they are, they are made by different directors, and it could have just been they inspired one another. However, what if they do exist in the same world? I mean, both chose the LA setting for their films, and both talk about conditioning, changing how one handles the world around them. The invitation focuses on grief and trauma, how people who don't deal with it or can't deal with it live a life of misery. One BR talks about bad conditioning. For Sarah, bad conditioning was her just about cutting ties with her father, running to LA to become a fashion designer, and hiding her pet cat when it was clear when she signed the lease that pets were not allowed. So the members of the apartment complex felt that these things made Sarah selfish. To break this bad conditioning and become a beneficial member of the community, they tortured her to ensure that she would help the community and to see them as family. I thought that was kind of messed up. In my opinion, I found the leader and his accomplice status because they put these people through so much grueling torture without any remorse or feeling any guilt or anything. They just didn't care because it's for the greater good. And Sarah, after the torture, looked at them like an abused victim because that's what she was. She was terrified of them. It was strange how no one else saw that. They all went through it, yet all smiled and were friendly with one another. Almost like Stockholm Syndrome. Whereas Sarah was constantly terrified of the leader and his accomplice. Which, I don't blame her. I would be too, because what if she messes up? Are they going to harm her further? Kill her? I wouldn't trust them. So what if both cults in 1BR and The Invitation started in Mexico? Maybe the leaders of the cults were friends, but had different ideals on how to help people deal with life. 
One took the belief that people just need to focus on a community rather than focus on their individual selves, which people seem to have become obsessed with, according to WMBR's leader. He says that people are constantly taking selfies of themselves and constantly looking at themselves, making themselves look better or focusing on their individual selves rather than a community what's better for the community. So they do a lot of selfish acts. That's what he believes. Whereas the other took dying as the only solution to the sorrow because everyone will be reunited in death. Talking about the other cult leader in the invitation. Which we honestly have no idea what happens when we die. It's a question a lot of uh, people would love to have answered. I did some research about these two movies because I wondered if there was a connection since the endings are almost identical. What I found were a bunch of other people having the same thoughts I did but no evidence to support it. Some wondered if these films were based on an urban legend in LA. I however couldn't find any information about an urban legend surrounding cults and red lights. So I don't think that's what inspired the two. The movies that aren't that great, I found them just weird but not scary. They're more of a psychological thriller than horror movies. For those of you that have seen both of these movies, what did you think? Do you think the two are linked or the endings are just a coincidence? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous week. Take care until next time. Bye everyone.